Hi, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. Here I have an Asus laptop and I'd like to do a review for you as well as running a benchmark test to share with you on the result of the performance of the CPU and the graphics card. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So if you take a look here, this is the Asus 17 inch. And if you flip it around, you can look at the model number. It says Ace uh, model M712U. And this is a 17 inch model. So let's take a look here. It's pretty standard. You have a full size keyboard because this is a 17 inch. You are able to have the uh, name lock on the right side here for all the numbers. This computer here runs on an AMD processor as well as the AMD graphics card. So the name of the laptop here is Asus Vivo Book 17. So that means it's a 17 inch model. All right, so here's the screen and let me go ahead and get in. Hopefully you can see the screen and let me zoom in a little bit here for you. All right, so let's go from the top. Here it says is AMD Ryzen 7 5700U with the Radeon graphics 1.8 gigahertz. The laptop here has a 16 gigs of RAM and it runs on a Windows 10. All right, so we did a Windows update. It was back in November 18, 2021. And this computer here runs on the M.2 NVMe drive, and this has the one terabyte on it. So let's go to the C drive, and you can see um, this is the one terabyte. Uh, pretty much is brand new. It doesn't have anything on it. And let's go ahead and run the benchmark test. So today I'll be using the 3D Mark. Uh, here you can see that it identified the computer as Windows 10, 16 gigs of RAM. Again, this is a one terabyte M.2 NVMe drive. The processor is AMD Ryzen 7 5700. U with the Radeon graphics on it. Okay, and this is the AMD Radeon graphics 1900. So let's go ahead and click the run button. In this process, the entire benchmark test may take about I think about five to seven minutes or so so I'll let the entire video run through without stopping it or fast forwarding the video and I like to you know like to show it to you that you're able to watch um, the play on the screen if you feel like the screen is a smooth or maybe you know a uh, little bit sluggish jaggy screen things like that so i'll let you decide and we'll talk about the score at the end of the video and if this is your first time watching the video and i have other videos in the channel please go ahead and uh, feel free to browse around and get yourself um, or if you have any question just comment below and ask me um, I'll, I'll make a video on how to uh, repair on the computer stuff or, or the network, um, you know, trying to help out here. All right, so the the benchmark is running at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it to let it run, and um, yeah, and I come back and discuss with the uh, the score. Let me crank the uh, audio up a little bit more, if I can. Well, 
Never mind. Sorry. Just so you know that the graphics here on my laptop screen, it actually feel a little bit jaggy. Um, it's like sluggish and I can hear the fan is kicking on a high speed. So what you're seeing right now on the video is exactly the same thing I'm looking at the actual screen right here. So it means that the gaming might not be recommended in this uh, in this laptop. Like the intense gaming, I wouldn't recommend you to buy this laptop. But if you're going to use it for something moderate, uh, I, I think, or some simple games, uh, this laptop is might be a, uh, is okay to use.
All right, so here's the result. As you can see that the graphics score is 1084 and the CPU score is 6065 and overall you're getting 1236. Okay, so the entire score is running at 1236. If you ask me, the number is actually quite low. Um, I don't think this laptop is meant for gaming, if personally, if you ask me. Uh, but if you're going to use it moderately, I mean like for your daily use, checking email, doing like your Microsoft Office, spreadsheet, uh, you know, documents, doing online browsing, like emailing, social media and whatnot. I, I think this is more than uh, capable right it has enough of ram it has enough of storage um, amd is a good processor so something moderate things that you want to do i i think this laptop is perfect for you no sweat you will work just fine if you're going to use it for gaming um i would reconsider not buying this laptop for gaming one of the reason is if you're going to use it for gaming and the graphics and a CPU runs on a high speed at all times, you will prematurely kill the CPU and the graphics card, meaning that you would kill the motherboard uh, prematurely. Meaning that if this laptop, hypothetically speaking, they give you five years of lifetime to use it, if you're going to use it gaming at all, all the time, then probably cut it down to like maybe three years of usage, right? So I wouldn't use this for like heavy gaming or intense games. But if you're going to play something simple, simple games, um, I don't mean like solitaire or, or, or things like that. Uh, simple games, maybe like Minecraft uh, should be okay. Um intense gaming would be something like i don't know like fortnite um call of duty uh that uses a lot of maybe like league of legend uh simple games like that and reduce the uh, fps to low probably you get by with it right i know some people are within a budget restraint um you know, you want to use it for school or you want to use it for work. At the same time, you want to do some simple game just to relax at home after a long day of work. Yes, maybe this laptop is still suitable for you uh, because it has the uh, the numbers on the keyboard. Um, right. So you can do I'm not sure if you need those numbers there. Uh, this has a 17 inch screen. So it's a bigger screen that allows you to. Um, uh, to see much, much more stuff, uh, you know, a better view. Um, this keyboard is a lit up keyboard. It has a back lighting on it, uh, which is white in color. I know you can't see it because my my lights are shooting down the keyboard. But if I hopefully I can tilt an angle, you can see it. Yeah, you can see some of the white keys right here in the background. So it has a white uh, backlight keyboard in this Asus laptop here. Okay, this Asus laptop does come with a built-in microphone and also a webcam in the front here. All right, so um, if you feel like this video is helpful, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate you for doing that. Uh, if you have any question, comment below. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. Um, and I'll probably make a separate video to disassemble the entire laptop here to show you what you can upgrade. Maybe you want to upgrade your M.2 drive. Uh, maybe you want to upgrade your RAM or change out your fan, uh, change the battery. So I will have a separate video um, in my channel. I'll try to link it maybe on the left here. Um, just go ahead and click it if you, if you want to see that video on how to upgrade and stuff. Uh, until next time, please take care. Bye now.